Saucony. Come on now. Throwing down again. Unbelievable. Weight is decent. All right. We're looking. It's very muddy. So let me just, I got to be a little careful doing the twist. It's not twisting very well. Actually, wait a second here. Okay. More than I expected. All right. So we are going to do some geese across the screen. More, not a crazy amount, but it is a neutral <laughs> trail ish. It is a trail shoe, but here's the deal. So they've got this very unique Power Track Ice outsole rubber, which is designed, and I see it. I see it. I feel it. Um, and we're going to get to the outsole, but it, it's designed to grip ice. That's why it's called the Peregrine Ice Plus 3. And I like the thought. I like the thought. And it, here's the deal great scores. By the way, drop weight. There you have it. All right. But man, that upper, as I was putting it on, I immediately thought to myself, this is a Mach 4, Mach 5 as well. But the first time, who is a Mach 4 owner out there? The first time you slipped on that Mach 4 upper, I remember, this is, you know, two, almost two years ago, I was like, wow, this is different. This feels like a slipper over the top of the foot. Boom. That's immediately the thought, the foot memory, the uh, muscle memory that I felt putting on the shoe. Great job there. Upper is pretty incredible. All right. I don't know. I would predict may. Ooh, it's nice. Heel pocket lockdown. It's a full gusset. Yeah. Uh, yes. Full. No, 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 no. Semi gusset through the tongue. All right. There you go. And um, you're not, your feet are going to stay dry as if you're crossing creeks, they're going to get wet. But overall in the slush, in the sleet, in the snow, in the ice, in the, you know, puddles, you're going to stay pretty dry in this upper. All right. It's, um, it's special. I'm very, very excited about it. Okay. And onto that midsole, the heart of the shoe, we got power run through the midsole. It's a TPU EVA blend. It's not crazy bouncy. Okay. So if you're looking for an incredible amount of energy return, you're not going to get it. But as far as durability, it's just going to go and it's a leaner midsole compared to a lot of trail shoes out there at this point. So if you like a little lower stack height to reduce the, uh, the, the worries of rolling an ankle out there on the trails, on the rocks, the roots, the ice patches, um, this might be a better option for you. And again, it's not incredibly bouncy. You're not going to, you know, you're not setting speed records in the shoe. It's not made for that. Okay. It's made to get you out the door in the wild winter months when you don't want to get out the door and you're a little hesitant On to the outsole, man. It's awesome, but I would love, it's interesting. So it's a very flat outsole, meaning the lugs are not really biting into the side of a mountain or into the snow, like really loose snow uh, a ton. But I would love Saucony at some point. Maybe an option is to add a little micro spike action to this outsole. I think I would buy this shoe in a heartbeat again if there was just little tiny, like maybe five or six, especially under the forefoot, little micro spikes built into this outsole combined with that power track ice rubber, which is very, like very tacky to the touch. So it does really well in ice. Oh my goodness. I would just be so excited. So the score is not epic for the outsole only because um, I stayed upright. I didn't, I never fell, but I think we could do even a little bit more for those icy conditions out there around the world. Fit, true to size, comfort, awesome. Um, my overall positive is it's probably that lockdown feel on the top of the foot. And I absolutely think this shoe is going to go and go and go. I, you could six, 600 miles, always email me info at demoreglobalrunning.com. I just, this, this out, this, I could just tell this midsole, you know, with the thumb test that it's not going, it's not, oh yeah. And I should mention who's the best for don't buy this shoe. If you prefer a softer ride. All right. This is not a soft ride. It's not hard, but it's not soft either. Let me see. It's hard. Cause they're, they're very muddy, but let's just get a rough estimate here. Okay. 38, 39. All right. It's a little softer than I expected actually, but it doesn't feel like that. See on that side, we're getting a little harder there. 50 on the lateral side 37 38 on the inside for the rough numbers for the shore c durometer other shoes to buy nike react pegasus trail 4 gtx and the hoka challenger atr7 gtx the hoka challenger atr7 isn't quite the exact comparison but um yeah the nike react definitely is in that same category shoe quick specs soak it in one more time there you have it all right price point oh yeah the price point 140 dollars boom Excellent, excellent price point for a trail running shoe. And with that type of tech in the upper and the fact that it, my feet stayed really, really dry out there in the testing and that outsole, mm, 
man, it'll be so interesting. I'm excited for this line. It's a little bit of a, it's a niche lineup, all right? If you don't live in icy locations, you don't need to buy this shoe. Or if you don't live somewhere that, yeah, that just, or like in Colorado, what happens is it snows, it melts, ice, melt, mud, ice. It's just, a, it's because it's, we don't have really, really cold winters here. So everything melts, and but then it turns to ice. Uh, so it's, it's just a, you have to negotiate the different conditions out there in your trail running endeavors. Kent, you get the comment of the day. Uh, there you have it, Kent. Onward. Thank you, Kent, for sharing your thoughts about living up in uh, Canada there. And that question of the day, did I already ask? Oh, yeah. What do you spend the most time thinking about? All right. Question. It's a little philosophical, maybe, but question of the day. What do you spend? Like, what do you just love to think about? Is it... Um, you know, something beyond this earth. Is it uh, your next adventure? Is it your next t t running shoe purchase, maybe? Is it uh, your family? Is it the next book you want to buy? I don't know. What do you What do you spend a lot of time thinking about? Um, that a little bit of a reflective QD for you today. We'll toss it to uh, the trail running shoe playlist. Oh, man, a lot of trail shoes. We're rolling, all right? If you need a little catch-up, they will be right there, right there. All right, there. All right, onward we go. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.